the girl I had seen coming in. In her hair you could smell the diesel fumes of a midnight motorway. In her eyes she keeps the summer time. Cigarettes and a trembling coffee cup. Yet I'd be there myself if I knew where she was when she sighed and her mind drifted up. Yes, you know how sometimes when you're watching for signs and you can't find the loop that will fit. Well, she was the one who put out the sun. Shattered now, and the wind comes racing in to disconnect the spider's webs that spread their wings round the brim of the pots and the bottles that soak in the dust with the jungle of coals that she keeps in case maybe someday she feels that she may. Become queen of the night as she sleeps. A trail of broken effigies lay scattered round her bed. The apples, the records, the cigarette ash have melted into her hair, and she takes off her clothes to a Portuguese hymn that she found in a jar. The fruit that is just out to reach. At last, she has tasted the opium sweet and wonders just how it will feel when the fingers of fear touch her innermost soul and the breath of life becomes real. Well, you know how sometimes you're alone in your mind, and you've just found a piece that will fit. Well, she was the one, when all said and done, who gave me the freedom to quit. The man was still trying to talk to me about scenes I did not know. He asked me to enter. Contract with him, so I said that I'd have to go. For the words spilled out from the edge of his mouth and fell down the side of his face. But my mind was away on a short holiday with the girl I'd seen.
mental flagellation Orange peel and paper packets sailing down the street Relevance had once been our illusion Gliding down the gutter with last year's frozen food My photograph and ultimate conclusion Moving in my latitude, trying to escape The sentence of the ever-moving finger The emptiness of solitude Causes me to stop and think of reasons To continue any longer Wishing I was waterproof To all the tears we cried Pour us as a sponge is my passion Puddles on the pavement Showing my distorted face Starts the puddles in its fashion Wishing it would rain champagne Crystal christenings once again Bursting happy bubbles with our laughter But now outside the empty rain Makes teardrops on my window pane As I lose the dying dreams I'm chasing after Time to say all that I wanted to say. 
saw the petals fall softly like snowflakes and settle on the rough earth like quiet butterflies. Somewhere over there, a robin cries his tears and leaves them with the dewdrops shining briefly in the grass. So listen quietly and let the river sing his song for you. Then weeping rush away towards the freedom of the sea.
Behind the shadowed corners in the dawning of our years We played among our memories of happiness and tears We walked along the seafront, two children hand in hand And if you believed in magic, then you lived in a magic land From lemonade and seaweed and driftwood floating by We built sun castle empires that reached up to the sky And left our bankrupt footprints to be taken by the tide And laughed inside our innocence as the world passed by outside We gazed along the coastline from the top of Bluebell Hill The buttercups and dandelions were pulled against their will The trembling woods behind us held their dark secrets too Where nettles sting and the butterflies wing on the banks of wildflower blue And the bells on Sunday morning rang far across the sea Salty seagulls sang their songs about eternity And the ocean muttered something no man could understand For he who solves a paraphrase appears at his command In a corner of the garden where the rhododendrons grew There lived the Captain Shannon whom everybody knew life he'd spent on sailing ships from the Azores down to the Horn. He danced the rhythm of the waves since the day that he was born. He used to take us on his knee and smoke his pipe of clay and speak of storms and hurricanes and San Francisco Bay. He spoke of wars and earthquakes that had torn the world apart. Our little children laughed and died with each beat of your heart One day a wounded seabird came to rest upon the land His wings had ceased to function and were dry with oil and sand A gentle dog had sensed him as the wind blew from the sun And fetched the lump of lifelessness home safely in his mouth In the stroke of every hour the oily bird was bathed Captain Shannon saw the bird and knew he could be saved In a few days he became quite well and quickly learned to fly Flew off towards the sunset and left us wondering why And we prayed there every morning, my tiny friend and I Looking out across the ocean beneath the clear blue sky Where the telescopic islands are half hidden in the mist Broke the dim horizon where the sea and heaven kiss. To be alive, a 
the three score years and ten With twice the guile and twice the strength Of ordinary men I do not fear the hunchback Was the captain's brave reply I am a bold seafaring man And not afraid to die But the dog had sniffed the ocean From the seaman's salty skin And led him to the water's edge As the tide came pounding in the blankets as the storm raged all night and once or twice we thought we had the hunchback's mournful song but we were children freshly launched upon the seas of life and the news of captain shannon's death cut deeply like a knife what happened on the beach that night has never been quite clear for no one heard his helpless cries or saw him disappear We all knew who had been there Was as plain as it could be By his usual trail of seaweed Down the beach and out to sea And the bells on Sunday morning Rang far across the sea And salty seabirds sang their songs About eternity And the ocean muttered something No man could understand For he who solves a paraphrase Of powers at his command 